change. Another characteristic of living things is that they can feel. Living things also feel the changes in their environment. They undergo changes as the environment around them changes. A change in the environment that causes a living being to change is known as stimulus. The change in the living being caused by the stimulus is called the response. For example, when we touch a hot object, we immediately move our hand away from the object. Here, the hotness of the object is the stimulus and the removal of the hand is our response. In the same way, in a particular season, some plants shed their leaves. Here, the change in the season is the stimulus and the shedding of leaves is the response. A thing is living only if it shows all the characteristics we have just discussed. If it does not show any one of these characteristics, it is a non-living thing. You may have often seen a balloon increase in size. That does not mean that the balloon is a living thing. Its size increases only when we blow air into it. It cannot grow on its own. Similarly, even though a car moves from one place to another, it is a non-living thing. This is because a car does not eat food and grow. Moreover, it does not move on its own. It moves when we drive it. Hence, both balloon and car are non-living things. Let's recap. Living things need food to grow. Living things move on their own. Living things breathe. Living things reproduce young ones of their own kind. All living things can feel. Living things respond to stimulus. Anything that does not show all the characteristics of living things is a non-living thing.